It's season three, finally. We've been able to bridge season two and season three with the Book of Boba Fett, but um, now that uh, Mando and Grogu are reunited and there are so many more Mandalorians to meet, I can't wait for everyone to experience the ec epic season. My favorite thing about it is that we get to like wait each week for the chapters to arrive. Um, it just makes it more of a collective experience for everybody and um, it's that thing that 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 as kids you had to you had to wait and it makes it all the more better for it you know it's fun because uh, when we first started off the last time we had a big event like this uh, uh, in Hollywood uh, we were just introducing the show to people they didn't know what to expect uh, everybody was very uh, um, involved with uh, the larger Star Wars universe and the, and the films that were coming out we were just starting to uh, develop these stories and now coming back, people know these characters, they've developed relationships with them, expectations, they're curious about what happens, they have a point of view about what should happen, uh, and we always have to, we want to fulfill expectations, but also surprise people. And this format of having one show every week is so much fun, because it's like we get to turn over another card every week, and there's a whole new set of discussions and conjectures that happen, but we, we're very fortunate to have a very engaged fan base who cares deeply about these characters, they love dressing up as them, they love collecting them, and they love staying up late at night, some of them, to watch each episode as they drop. And then, uh, and, and so that's, it's, it, you feel like you're part of something much larger. And we're fans first and foremost, and we love the characters, we feel connected with them. I get emotional, I laugh. You know, even though I've seen it, a, a, you know, a hundred times, it really feels exciting. And then, but the best part, of course, is you know wrapping up the presents and then watching everybody open them like that's that's the part we get a kick out of and as long as people are enjoying what we're doing we're having a blast doing it it's a lot of fun you know we i don't know when we shot this maybe a little more than a year ago so you know it takes so long and i mean i've got kids and they're obsessed i keep saying march 1st march 1st march 1st but here we are i can't wait it's exciting a new season is all they're asking for they have to wait so long for the next one right? And now it's here, so now they're all happy. We have a fantastic ensemble of people in front of the camera, the actors, the performers, uh, but we also have this amazing, well, John Favreau right beside me. We have this amazing, amazing group who just keep turning out between John and Dave Filoni, uh, great material. Uh, we have obviously the lore of the Mandalorian and Star Wars to work with. Uh, how can we go wrong being a part of that? I just think there's so much that John has woven into this season as a writer and producer that uh, I can't imagine fans not being just tickled with every episode. And they're so big. I mean, they, they look like movies. They really do. Movie movies in the, in the big theater, you know? So hopefully you all will have your widescreens working, your popcorn popped, your beverage of choice, and you'll be able to watch it over and over and over and over again, because we're going to keep coming every time you start it, okay? It's unbelievable. And I, I mean, 
it's such a contrast too for me between season one and now because season one I came to the premiere I knew next to nothing about what was going to happen I hardly knew anybody else who was on the show because everything was so secretive and now I feel like I have this whole family uh, because I've gotten to know everyone so much better and I've gotten to know some of the actors through conventions and I have just fallen in love with this world and these characters and it's such a special thing to be a part of. Yes, it has. And one of the things that I think is so phenomenal about the show is that we have fans who are just deeply in their blood Star Wars fans, you know, from the beginning. But we also have fans who may not know anything at all about Star Wars, who are just coming into this, this whole mythology. And they love it too. And I think that that's just a testament to how um, how deeply these stories kind of kind of get you right in the right in the core. You don't have to know anything about Star Wars because they just speak to your heart. They speak to that like that inner like hero's journey in all of us. Um, and there's something for everyone in them. It's amazing for me. I've been a fan of Star Wars since I was 14 years old. So it's like it's a dream come true in a lot of ways. And I, I'm I'm also. Uh, Really happy to be involved with this particular season because I feel like it raises the bar of what the show is doing. And, uh, you know, John Favreau and Dave Filoni are just broadening the canvas and doing some amazing things. So it's, it's uh, really going to be special. I think fans are going to love it. Yeah, you know, it's, it's unbelievable uh, the degree to which fans have embraced the show. Uh, they're, I, they're probably growing up with the show the same way that I grew up with the movies. So that is that phenomenon is like it always makes you step back and, and think about the the importance of these things and the reach of them and you know what they what they say to people it's a it's a big deal you know telling stories that actually mean something to people and uh, I think the show is a real prime example of that yeah so the fans are amazing intelligent uh, they keep you honest right and uh, the discourse that happens is, is a wonderful thing and it's lovely to be a part of I'm a fan myself and not being able to see all this stuff, like I can guess and theorize myself, but that's the joy of this, this, this fan base, really. It's like the love for Star Wars. And you can, it can be all these different narratives. Stars should be for everybody. And it really, really is when you have shows like this. So, yeah, very happy. It is wilder than anything I've ever imagined. And there is this uh, saying of the whole Star Wars family, and you always hear that everywhere you go in different projects. But truly, Star Wars, Lucasfilms is a family, Disney is a family, and I'm just very grateful to be a part of it, no matter how small. Yeah, I gotta tell you, season one, I had no idea how uh, amazing the response was gonna be. At my kids' school, everybody's wearing something Mandalorian, and you just kinda smile to yourself that they, how lucky I am to be a part of that. I feel like the fans themselves can be so creative and they come up with all of these really interesting, like I just saw a fan art that was like unbelievable. And um, you just, I don't know, you just see that there's this whole world out there of just people that are uh, amazing and incredibly impressive. Yeah, you know, it, this crew and this cast put in so much hard work and we do it all for the fans and for the love of Star Wars and for it to finally be here is magical. This show resonates with so many people all over the world and for so many different reasons. One of the things that I love about Mandalorian is you can sit down with the biggest Star Wars fan that's seen every single thing Star Wars and a five-year-old and they love the show equally as much for very different reasons and, and that's a special thing. They do, they're definitely going to get Mando and Grogu, so they have that. But, you know, you're going you're gonna to get a lot of what you've, you've come to love from The Mandalorian and, and a whole bunch of new things that we hope you love as well. Yeah, you know, I think that what John and Dave have created is something that, that brings back that nostalgia and that love that everybody had from the original trilogy of Star Wars. And, and to, to be able to share that with a new generation and, and to have it feel iconic in a weird way and, and, um, is, is beautiful. And it's just so, so special to be involved. There is so much this season and um, so many surprises, so many twists and turns. I just, I can't wait. Discovery. 
I mean, Mandalorian is discovery. It, it's that unlikely hero who has to do things he doesn't want to do, grows through it, and learns from it. And the fact that you have Grogu, that little mm, that I'm trying to get, uh, being such an illuminating spirit, um, it's something that we need right now, and it is worth the wait for sure. I get so excited for these fans because they get it. They get the journey, they get the mystical journey, they get the story, they get the relationship, and yet they want to make it up in their heads because in the meantime, from last to now, from past to present, they have to you know, keep their excitement going. Well, now's the time, here we are, just wait a few more seconds and you'll be seeing it in all of its um, luster and glory.